Opponents of Colombia's proposed homeless plan making their voices heard Tuesday. Hundreds of protesters teaming up with the city's homeless, marching on Maine. Just a group of people that are totally in, oh Lord, just empathy and compassion with homeless people. I'm asking you politely, can you go to the sidewalk this private property? The march coming just one day after Tom Turnipseed and protesters were edged out of a meeting with business owners, lawyers, and two city leaders in support of the Columbia CARES plan. Police were called and protesters were forced to the sidewalk. While Turnipseed voiced his opinion about being asked to leave, he says while waiting outside, he found another person who disagrees with the proposed plan. The everyday people, the policemen even, don't like this. They don't want to do it. It's a very emotional issue. It's an issue that we have stumbled over for 30 years in this city. Earlier this month, city council voted unanimously to approve a proposal by Councilman Cameron Runyon that would open the city's winter shelter around the clock for roughly six months. Runyon says at the shelter, the homeless can shower, eat, sleep, and they'll be paired with service providers to help get them off the streets. The proposed plan would also beef up police around the business district and the road to the shelter. Police could make arrests under public nuisance laws for loitering and trespassing. Residents will also have a hotline they could call if they spot a homeless person downtown. Opponents say this type of treatment violates human rights and is clearly police profiling. This Carolina Cares Cameron Runyon's proposal makes downtown a gated community in that if homeless people come down here, they'll be arrested. They have to abide by the same set of laws that I have to abide by, that everyone else in this city and everyone watching this report has to abide by. The homeless are not exempt from the laws. The proposed proposal is far from being policy. Some council members who originally voted for the plan are now questioning which parts they voted for. City council is set to take up the issue on September 3rd. In downtown Columbia, Rob Starkey, Watch Fox News.